One of the very important subjects in this week's Torah portion is the subject of kosher. And today, thank God, kosher is readily available. You can go to any supermarket and find thousands of kosher products, many kosher restaurants. Kosher has never been perhaps easier to observe than in our generation, thank God. But although we have kosher so readily available, uh, the Torah tells us the rules of kosher. And we know that for an animal to be kosher, it has to have two signs. What are the two signs of a kosher animal? The first thing is they have to have split hooves. Its feet have to be parsed, split. And the second thing is it has to chew its cud. Now since we eat kosher on a daily basis, there must be a deeper message to the laws of kosher. Did God just randomly say for an animal to be kosher, it has to have split hooves and chew its cud? What is so special about kosher that an animal has split hooves and chews its cud? What makes that animal superior? So clearly what the Torah is trying to do is teach us a lesson that we should inculcate into our very being and our character when we eat kosher. And we eat kosher constantly. We just have to think about what the Torah is trying to teach us with the laws of kosher. And there are many, many explanations and uh, lessons to be learned from kosher. But the two most, bu- the most basic fundamental laws uh, uh, and lessons of kosher is that a person has to be kosher, not just the animal has to be kosher. What does it mean for a human being to be kosher? First thing is a person has to have split hooves. What does split hooves mean? That there's a direction to the right and a direction to the left, meaning that there should be a distinction unethical. The first thing is a person has to know there's a difference between right and wrong, and you always have to tr- choose the right path. Unlike uh, an animal that has just one big stub in one direction, there's a split hook, right and left. And the first thing is to know the difference between the blessing and the curse, like in the beginning of this week's parsha. But here's the challenge. Even after you made your decision, what is right and what is wrong, you have to have a chew, chew your cud. What does it mean to chew your cud? An animal that chews his cud regurgitates what it eats. It swallows it, consumes it, but then it brings it back up again and chews it a second time. And here's the powerful lesson. To be a kosher human being, it's not enough to say this is right and this is wrong. Because many times what we think is right is, isn't necessarily right. So even after we've consumed it, we've made our decision, we've swallowed it, we have to bring it back up a second time. We have to re-examine it. We have to be willing to challenge our own thinking and our own decisions. As someone said, don't believe everything you think. Just because you thought it and you decided it doesn't mean you were right. Be willing to re-examine it, especially if someone uh, points out a question, don't be arrogant and say, no, I'm right. Okay, let me reconsider it. Like the kosher animal that regurgitates its food a second time and even a third time, always constantly as you go through life, don't just make decisions and stick with them always. Sometimes it's good to stick to your decision. Sometimes you have to reevaluate and make sure that your decision was accurate and proper because what your initial impulse was, even though it was right, it may have not been the best decision. It's a story told about the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe. You know, many Jews have a custom on Passover not to dip their matzah into any liquids, into any foods that have liquids, because there may be some unbaked flour that could become leaven if it comes into contact with liquid. So the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef was sitting at his Pesach meal, and there was a guest there who didn't know about this custom. And he took his matzah, and he stuck it, he dipped it into red beet salad. And the matzah turned red, and he started to eat it. And all the chassidim like pounced on this guy. They started like yelling at him, what are you doing at the Rebbe's table? You stuck your matzah into the, into the liquidy salad. Don't you know it's gabrox? You're not supposed to mix matzah with liquid. And the man blushed. He was embarrassed. And the Rebbe turned to the chassidim and he said in Yiddish, better to have a red matzah than a red face. Yes, maybe well, he wasn't doing the right thing. But to embarrass a person... That's even worse than a red matzah is a red face. So sometimes we think we're doing the right thing. We're trying to choose the right path, but maybe we're doing it in a way that's insensitive or improper. And therefore, first of all, yes, know the difference between right and wrong, but make sure you're always willing to re-examine your choices and your decisions. As I always like to say, taste your words before you spit them out.